Good evening. We're back with more Lord of the Rings LCG. And tonight it is Encounter at Amordine on Nightmare Difficulty. This is a difficult quest on Nightmare Mode if you don't get a location out of the Encounter deck early on. And a location that's relatively innocuous in terms of the effect that it has when it's in the staging area. But I did get one here. And the reason you want a location early on is so that Lord Alcaron can rescue villagers that are discarded by the Nightmare card and save them to a, a location. If there is no location, he can't do that. And the one that starts as the active location is no good for this because it discards a villager at the end of every round. But here in the openings in the setup, the encounter card is a innocuous location and that's great. And the starting hand is pretty good and that's great. So off to a good start. So at the beginning of the quest phase, we need to discard a villager, which Lord Alcaron will exhaust to rescue to the active location. And we get Gondorian Hamlet, pretty mild card. And with questing for 10, we're going to make enough progress to clear the burning farmhouse before any villagers can be discarded. So that's good. And we're going to move to Gondorian Hamlet move on to the next round. A good start. Very good start. I'm going to get Faramir out here along with the Anfalas Herdsman. And just going to quest to try to clear Gondorian Hamlet, but not necessarily to proceed to Phase 2 yet. So, questing for 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Lord Alcaron is going to rescue another villager. And the threat against is 6, so we make clear the staging, or we clear the active location and rescue two villagers off the quest, but don't advance yet. And I'm not going to move to that location in the staging area. I want it to stay there so that Lord Alcaron has a place to rescue villagers that get discarded at the beginning of every quest phase. So I can tank the attack from this enemy and put one damage back on him. I'm not really set up that well for attack, defense, definitely not for defense or questing. So I will hope to get another Ether Swordsman or two, and another Knight of the Swan or two. And a Warrior of Lossernock would be nice. So just going to quest mildly here. Don't want to move on yet. So no threat, no progress. And that enemy does not have to engage, but he does discard a villager. And Lord Alcaron can rescue the villager from the quest phase. So just gonna tank the attack, steal a shadow card for each villager on the active location. There is no active location. And we can dispatch this enemy. We're gonna try to hang around phase one until I clear the board. That's usually the case in almost every quest, unless forced to move on past phase one. I want to hang around in phase one until I get at least two Ether Swordsmen. And if it's a combat quest, uh, two Knights of the Swan and or two Warriors of Lossernock. At that point, it's safe to move on. So once again, Lord Alcaron rescues a villager. Though I may have forgotten to exhaust him, but I don't use his action. So again, just trying to quest lightly. 
and we have to either discard two tokens from rescued villagers or search for an enemy. I know this encounter deck well enough to know that there is a mild enemy that I can grab, which is Orc Rabble, so I'll do that. And that enemy will engage right away. And I decide to engage the other enemy as well. So the first attack on Denethor is Shadow Cards of Dead, so just one damage. And then the attack will go on Aristor. I don't have any... Oh, there, I've forgotten. I think I double doubled up on villagers there. It may have made things more difficult on myself than I needed to be. Forgot that I'd already done that, but didn't exhaust Lord Alcaron. So there should be one more on rescued villagers, I think, and one less on that location. No problem. Gonna be able to take out both enemies here. Got a lot of offensive power from my Outlands guys, but no defense. Now with the staging area clear, except for the location, which I want to keep there, I'm gonna move on to phase two. This is more questing focus, so I'm not going to hang around and wait for Warriors of Loss or Knock. I don't think they're going to be needed. And time is pretty crucial on this one, with the rescued villagers decreasing by one each round, effectively representing a ticking clock, though. I do have the option of moving to that farmhouse and rescuing six villagers at my leisure, so I'm not too worried. If those six or four of those villagers had instead gone to dead villagers, I'd be in trouble now. You can get in some trouble in a hurry if locations just don't come out of the deck with the opportunity to rescue more villagers. So there's a, a big element of luck in this quest. So we do move on to phase two, rescuing the three villagers. If you can't find any locations in this from this encounter deck, then you need a lightning fast player deck. But really, in my experience, it's impractical to expect a win if no locations come out of the encounter deck. And sometimes they just don't. So, going to engage Gulat here. Don't have a choice about that. Can't put damage on him until I make 15 progress, as per the Nightmare card. He gets another Shadow card, and another, so he's up to 4 attack. It's not enough to kill for long. And initially I was thinking I could just kill him, but then I realized you cannot until 15 progress is on Protect the Villagers. Adds additional difficulty because Gulat does add a dead villager each time he attacks. Not going to be forced to engage Orc Rabble next round. And there's an Ether Swordsman right on time and a second at their swordsman right on time. So that's going to enable me to both put the 15 progress on protect the villagers and kill Gulat in the same round. And hopefully end the game this round. So I'll just do a quick count on how many I think I'll need. I'm going to aim for 26, 27. So it's 3, 6, 9, 12, actually it's 5, 10, 15, 19, 23, uh, 24, 28, 30. I did not add right. I don't know why. I must have forgotten about the third Ether Swordsman. That's actually 34, so way overkill. 
and the enemy will engage. I don't need to move there as this will be their last round as long as I kill Gulat. And when he attacks there's going to be a dead villager. And unfortunately he's going to discard Oh, it's actually just place one dead villager, so it's seven to four now. And he would place a damage token if he killed somebody. So either discard one villager token or the attack is undefended. I could have taken the attack undefended and sacrificed a hero if I needed to, but I didn't need to. So it could have still been seven to four. And of course, if necessary, I could simply take another turn and clear the location in the staging area. So that will end the game with the death of Gulat and 15 progress on the main quest. This quest can be over pretty quickly if you get a good draw. It is important to get a good draw in this one for the nightmare mode. Because having a location in the staging area where you can rescue villagers to is very, very helpful. Thanks for watching.